Good to see you. Thank you. I don't know why every guest doesn't leave after that. That's as good as it gets. It is as good as it gets. Yeah, yeah. it's not going to get any better, guys. You're I'm sorry. touchably soft tonight. Thank That's you. Nice. Yeah. That is buttery soft suede. It is butter, actually. It's made of butter. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Aren't we? A lot of, lot of New York animals love this soup. Uh, congratulations on everything since the last time Thank I you. saw you here. A Quiet Place, an extraordinary movie, an extraordinary success. Thank you very you blew much. Blew people away. Thank you. First time out of the gate, third time out of the gate. For directing, yeah. Yeah. Third, third, third movie time out of the gate. Directed, yeah. You directed Force Awakens. Yeah. Uh, Raging Bull. This and was then my this. indie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Well, you it, must be, this is a, it's a whole new world. Now you are a hot director. That must uh, be really exciting for you. It is. I don't really know why I'm here still talking to you, but. Uh... <laughs> Fair I got enough. stuff to do. Fair enough. No, no, no. I point well taken. No, it's uh, I, I, you know, I, I try to process it, but the truth is, it's so overwhelming. Not only because everyone was so unbelievably nice about the movie, but to do something this huge that changed my entire life and have my wife be there next to me at every step of the way is just the most beautiful thing in the world. So doesn't everything kind? Of, you can applaud that. You applaud as well. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That is definitely deserves an Thank awe you. and applause. <laughs> just uh, as you um, but doesn't everything about your career kind of like blow you away or freak you out a little bit? Because you're just a, a nice young guy from Massachusetts, right? Massachusetts. That's okay, right. Massachusetts. Yeah. You were going to be a teacher, I understand. That's right. That's okay. right. I, I was. Uh, I was in college. I was going to be a teacher all the way up till the end, and then, out of sheer laziness, uh, I went to Brown University that yeah. took mid year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's like noun. What? What? And I was like, no, Brown. Um, <laughs> The, uh, at the end, so I, I came in mid-year. I had to go to school in January. They accepted me mid-year, and so... Why did they accept you mid-year? They had a program for the 32 kids that didn't get in. They had a... a they let you in. Oh, so they you did. Were there were 32. You were yeah, you're waitlisted. And then they said, hang tough with, like, one of those kitten posters. And then <laughs> we got in. A couple wow. of us did. Yeah, so yeah. I, out of sheer laziness, after my friends graduated in May... I thought, well, I'm going to be an English teacher, so let's just find a place that transfers credits back. And there was a theater school, and I went to that theater school, and it completely changed my life. The National Theater Institute at the Eugene O'Neill Center changed my life. Oh, wow. Yeah. But are your dad, uh, dad's a doctor. Yep. Mom's a nurse. Mm -hmm. Very respectable jobs. Yes. Were they at all worried about you doing something quite so vagabond as being an actor? Um, I'm sure they were. I'm sure they were. Did very... they express their worry? Did they say, "Please don't throw your life"? No, away? I'm. I'm from one of those amazing families where I was leaving that theater school that I told you. Truly, my mom came to pick me up from that theater school after 16 weeks or something, and as soon as the car left the driveway of the school, I said, "I'm moving to New York and I'm going to be an actor." And my mom paused for probably a half a second and she said, "Great, go do it. The only thing I ask you is, in two and a half or three years." If you don't have any sense that this is going to happen, we used to fish as kids, so she was like, if you don't get a nibble or a bite in two and a half or three years, you have to make me one promise. And I said, what? And she said, you got to pull yourself out because as your mother, you can't ask me to uh, tell you to give up on your dreams. And I said, that's so profound and, yes, fair. Cut to two and a half years later, I was like, um, so I'm out. This is terrible. It's so scary. <laughs> this is the worst. Waiting tables, not as fun as they say. And she said, you know, it's September. Just wait it out. Just wait till the end of the year. Don't give up just yet. I was ready to... I was telling her to come get me. <laughs> and, uh, In New York? Yeah. And three weeks later, I got the office. Wow. Yep. And that worked out. So, that uh, worked out. You know, I give her a lot of love and 10%. So, you know, yeah. she deserves it. So that's something that all parents should know, is that success is only three weeks away. <laughs> That's, just three more weeks. That was just the point three of more it. weeks. Yeah, just wait it That's out. That's it. Yeah, your then, dreams like, will massive, come true. <laughs> like career-forming, yeah. like historically funny television show you success. Get it. See, you get it. Yeah. Um, I once told my mom that I wasn't worried to be a young actor, and she said, and I said, and I don't know why, and she said, I don't know why either. <laughs> and she was supportive though. She was very That's supportive. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so let's get back to the quiet place here for a second. Okay. Okay, because uh, as a, as you were saying before, you and your lovely wife Emily Blunt uh, are in this movie together. You star in it. She stars in it. Um, it's great. How did you? I know this is like a basic question, but how did you come up with the idea of of the of the quiet of? Because it's a wonderful choice. Thank that, you. That that that. Um, the, it's all that stillness just leads to more of the of the thrill. It was one of those things where I had actually had just gotten the role of Jack Ryan, and the producers on Jack Ryan had this script that they were producing on the side, and they said, "Would you ever act in this uh, movie?" 
And so they gave me the spec script and the idea was so great. And I said, the idea is really good, but I have some ideas of how I want to change the script. Will you let me rewrite it if I star in it? And they said, uh, what? And I went down to my wife and I said, I have this idea because we had just had our second daughter and she was three weeks old. Literally, as I'm reading the script, I'm holding a three week old and it's a movie about parenting. And I just said, I think this could be the greatest metaphor for parenting. I know how to do it if I can just make it all about the family. And she said, but I will get, I'll tell you this, Emily turned to me and she said, uh, no, you're not going to rewrite and act in it. You have to direct it. And I said, no, I'm not ready to do that. And she said, yes, you are. She said, I'm looking at your face right now and you're ready. And so she, she's the reason why I directed the movie. Wow. Well, I agree. I mean, I think it's clear, I think it's clearly about parenting because when, because I have three children and there were times when they were very small that I thought, if we cannot get them to be quiet, we will all die. <laughs> <laughs> but I think yeah. I'm the monster. Yeah. Absolutely, exactly. there's nothing yeah. to be done. You would be the monster. Yeah, yes. yeah. you got two kids right now. Two kids, Two kids, right. it's a challenge. It's always beautiful, but often hard. It's the best. It's, it's that amazing, wonderful chaos. I have a four-year-old and a two-year-old, and they just became, they've always been friendly, but they're like, they like hold hands and are buddies now. That's it's, fantastic. I mean, just every day, you're like, oh my God. Just every, they're like, Daddy, look, I drew you this thing. And I'm like, oh, my, I got to lay down. <laughs> Emily's like, pull it together, man. Now you're playing Jack Ryan. Mm hmm Iconic role. It is. Did, 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 you, did you read the books? I did read the books. I, I, I think I watched the movies first. I think I was probably 12 or something when Hunt for Red October came out. Classic. Classic. Yep. Good old Alec Baldwin. Sure. Can do no wrong for me. He also pays me to say that, to be fair. So, um, no, he, I remember watching that movie and thinking that was so cool. And, you know, truly, I think in a world of superheroes and people with capes and th shooting things out of their hands, it was really nice to see a guy who was just using his brain and his instinct to try to do what's right. And so I always connected to that character. And I think it's kind of a, a nice character to have these days. I have to say the, uh, the premiere of Jack Ryan was last week uh, on the USS Iowa. Uh, partnered with the USO, and I will tell you, it was one of the greatest experiences of my entire career, uh, being up there and sharing that with all those brave men and women. So. Yeah, it's a privilege. Yeah. It's a privilege. Yeah. Well, we got to take, uh, we got to take a little bit of break right here. Uh, I got a little beef with you that I want to settle when we come back. Um, it's nothing serious, but we got to settle it. That Stick doesn't around. make me want to stay. We'll so. be right back. You got, you can't leave. We'll be right back with more John Krasinski.